Okay, we're going to look at something that has been a long time in the making because it's been a while since I've made my last video for the OK Shotgun channel. And I believe we have covered everything from hulls to primers to powder to wads, and that includes filler wads, overshot cards, uh, mylar wrap that goes in the wads, all that kind of stuff. But we've never covered shot and I've been thinking about it for a long time. So we're gonna do the best we can here today to look at shot. And I only use and load three types of shot, and that is lead, which is the gold standard uh, for shot shell uh, payload. Um, bismuth, which is pretty good. It's not lead, but it'll It'll, it'll get you there with today's technology. And then steel, which is, by the professionals, the most inferior. It's the worst out there, what it is. It is the worst one out there. So, um, I thought I would do a little test for you. I've got a number four shot in, uh, see, so you can't hardly see that, in bismuth right here. This is... This is how you used to get it from Roto Metals was in the in the jar. I think now they send it to you in a bag. I've got number four steel and number four lead. So I've got all three of these and uh, I thought I would weigh them for you. And we would go in, in the order of most dense to least dense. So that's going to be lead is the most dense. So that's... Uh, to give you kind of a picture of uh, how big number four lead is. It's not, I mean, it's not very big and all this shot is really the same size because if it's a number four, it's a number four, regardless of whether or not you have bismuth steel, lead, tungsten, Tungsten Matrix, Heavy Shot, it's the size. And I believe it is, uh, let's see, maybe like uh, 0.130 or something like that uh, is the size. But anyways, so I've got scale set here on grains. Number four lead, one pellet, 3.5 grains. We'll dump that one off. It's our scale zeroed back out on its own. Take another random pellet. That one's 3.1. Scale zeroed itself back out. That one's 3.2. So you're gonna have varying weights for your pellets. It's an approximation here. Um, anytime you alloy something, there's no way of getting it hundred percent. So uh, I'm trying to risk not boring y'all to death. Uh, we'll go with bismuth. Bismuth is right next to lead on the periodic table or pretty close, but it is extremely expensive in, uh, in my book. Um, I think I paid $150 for 10 pounds. And no, that wasn't just, much as I like reading y'all's comments and stuff, that wasn't just uh, for the channel. I have older shotguns that I like to hunt with. So anyway, here's some number four bismuth. That one weighs 2.9. That one weighs 3.1. Same as that other piece of lead did. That one weighs 3.1. I'll go one more just because. That one weighs 2.8. So you're going to get... Uh, you really... When, you, when they talk about the weight of individual pellets, it's it's an approximation 
you, you can, they're doing the best they can. I mean, I'm sure the ducks can't tell the difference when you hit them. Uh, of course, you can't can't use this anymore. Not for ducks. Not for a long time. You haven't been able to use that. Now let's go to steel. Steel is the shot that I have the most of because, well, it's cheapest. Steel is cheaper than anything else out there. That pellet weighs 2.2. That one was 2.3. That one's 2.2. That one's 2.2. So this is bearing out something that I wanted to bring up. Now, weight and density are not the same thing. I think everybody knows that. Mass and density are not the same thing. You can look at a golf ball and a ping pong ball, they're about the same size. Take up the same space, but they weigh a whole lot different than each other. Well, these, all these shots are the same size, but they've weighed different, which makes sense because they have different densities. Um, if you are a gun nerd like myself, to 11 grams per cubic centimeter. And then you go to bismuth, and bismuth has a density of 9.78 grams per cubic centimeter. And then you end up with steel, the lightest or the least dense of them all, and that is 7.8 grams per cubic centimeter. So, Density is going to be measured. How can you measure density? Well, you can measure density yourself. Pick up a wiffle ball and pick up a baseball. Throw them as hard as you can. Throw the wiffle ball as hard as you can. Throw a baseball as hard as you can. Now, if you was going to choose which one you wanted to hit you in the back, <laughs> I'd choose neither, but... Uh, Everybody as a kid, you you, know, you played wiffle ball or you maybe you played uh, baseball or softball. And I remember getting hit with a baseball and I didn't feel too good. But now I played wiffle ball, get hit with the wiffle ball, no big deal. Maybe just a slight sting, you pick it up, you keep going. That's the difference. Now, had the baseball hit me at the same speed the wiffle ball was coming, that would have been a little bit different uh, because it's got a lot more energy density, a, little, a lot more energy behind it. Um, there are shot materials that go way past uh, 11, which is what lead is. They have non-toxics out there that uh, are super, super dense. Um, ITX is a shot material that has, uh, they have ITX-10 and ITX-13. I've never messed with those, but I, if I understand them right. ITX-10 is 10 grams per cc density. 13 is 13 grams per cc density. Um, you've got uh, the heavy shot materials, but you get into cost whenever you get into that. Tungsten is the densest, maybe the densest of all materials. I, I'm not a scientist, so I don't know. But it's pretty dense because uh, it's tungsten super shot, whereas we shoot fours maybe at ducks, and I like shooting threes, especially for uh, out of a, a tight of choke as I can put it through to make it pattern, um, because they're they're just dead. You, there's no cripples with number three steel for me. I can buy ten pounds of steel shot for nineteen dollars, seventeen dollars. I mean that's a pretty good price. 25 pound bag of lead right now, 45 to $50. I know some of y'all will say, well, where are you buying at that price? And that's just, if you can find it at Bass Pro, that's what it is, 45, 50 bucks. And then of course, bismuth was $150 for 10 pounds. And you can guess it doesn't get used all the time. But when you get up into tungsten, man, tungsten, you get into some heavy, heavy stuff. Let me, I've got my iPad here. I got it. I'm gonna pull up ballistic products and just kind of tell you how many pounds is that? Five pounds. A five pound jar of their tungsten super shot that has, or they're calling it 
Sphero tungsten, which is a alloy that's 15 grams per cc. It is on sale for $169.80 for five pounds. And that's in number sevens, but that's, that's the benefit though. They're telling us that's the benefit with this tungsten shot and in all of its various densities is that you can use smaller pellets and it, with smaller pellets you can go you'll get more sh shot in an ounce than you will with say larger number threes number fours number twos whatever and because it's smaller it doesn't have drag on it as much as it as much as larger shot does so there may be something to it my pocketbook right now at least where I'm at says you can't afford that my mind says hey let's do it my pocketbook says how <laughs> so there may be a time that I can get a hold of some of it and we can go back and revisit this and I may not have answered all of your questions there's more that can be covered on this but at risk of it being too long of a video that because they weigh different you're going to get in, in an ounce of shot you're going to get different numbers of pellets across the board steel is 30 percent lighter than lead then you understand that you're going to get 30 percent more pellets than you would in lead for the same load so you have to take some of that into consideration anyways i hope this didn't uh, bore you to death and uh, i hope uh, you maybe have gotten something out of this i am going to do another one here pretty quick revisit some hulls because some of the shotgun hulls have already changed since the last video and i didn't cover anything about federal hulls and i think i'll give a little bit of time and credence to those uh, coming up so anyhow this is all i've got right now for shot materials one of these days i'm going to get out and i'm going to pattern some of these loads for you to let you see exactly what they'll do I do have buffer now too. I've bought some precision spherical buffer for these bismuth shot loads to really hold a tight pattern. We'll kind of maybe see, we'll measure difference in bismuth. That'd be expensive video, but bismuth that's not buffered versus bismuth that is buffered and see if we can tell a difference live, ready to go. So. Anyways, I'll try to get more regular in posting maybe once a week, once every other week and try to keep in touch with you. Hunting season's on us. Fixing to get fun. We'll talk to y'all later.